much. And I'm here at the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos, really pleased to be joined by Christian Morales, EMEA for Intel, your corporate vice president. Now tell me, you've got Moore's Law on your mind. Tell me a little bit about that. Absolutely. Moore's Law this year is invited here in Davos, which mm -hmm. is very exciting. <laughs> what is Moore's Law? Well, uh, it's about uh, uh, getting twice as many transistors every other year mm -hmm. um, that you can put into a chip. This allows you to improve the performance, improve, improve the energy efficiency, and improve the affordability of the chips, which means that uh, today you can have uh, those uh, hundreds of millions and billions of devices that are becoming smart and are becoming uh, connected. I know you also want to talk about digital digitalization, which I can't seem to get out this morning. Um, what are you doing in, in digitalization and what makes you excited? Well, if you look, uh, digitalization started with the devices to access uh, the internet. Mm -hmm. And we are seeing now more and more uh, devices accessing the internet, being connected with uh, through those smart devices a concept, internet of things that we call. Mm -hmm. And uh, we see all the companies going through an accelerated uh, programs and processes of digitalizing their own processes, production, uh, order taking, mm -hmm. integrating better the, the company through the digitalization uh, processes. We see this also taking place at the level of countries mm -hmm. because they want to become more innovative, they mm -hmm. want to become more competitive and more mm -hmm. agile. And uh, this is a lot of the conversations going on here in Davos, which is again very exciting. Paint me a picture of a, of a world in which the Internet of Things is a reality rather than as we're just talking about it. Take for example a city. Uh, why will you have to go every day to the office? Why will you have to go at the same time? Why wouldn't you take alternative routes? Why wouldn't you take uh, um, you know, a public transportation? Mm -hmm. How do you behave differently when there is, for example, alerts for uh, pollution? Mm -hmm. How do you get to a parking in a much uh, faster way? And um, you know, how do you uh, also help transforming the work uh, place into a workspace, which means that you mm -hmm. are becoming more and more mobile and you can keep on doing your work. You don't have to be in a physical space, uh, mm -hmm. place, but you can, you can do it in a space that is mobile. Where do you think the most exciting developments are? What city or what country? Very interestingly enough, uh, if you look at the index of uh, the most innovative countries in the world, mm -hmm. we are in the most innovative one here in Switzerland. Uh -huh. uh, you will find an engineering company here in almost every uh, village or every city. And we have 12 of the most innovative countries of the world here in, uh, in, uh, in Europe, which is very exciting. And this means that there is a lot of opportunities for innovation, a lot of opportunities for uh, creativity and a lot of opportunities for people who understand the digital world, particularly the millennium mm -hmm. um, uh, audience, which is reaching uh, the marketplace and the workplace uh, as, as we speak. Um, and uh, added to this, the wearables, mm -hmm. which is a very, very important trend we see today worldwide, mm -hmm. which is kind of an extension of um, experiences of what people are having today with devices. Mm -hmm. And another uh, area which is also very exciting is um, the interface and the interaction with digital devices, be it PCs, tablets, uh, smartphones, and so on and so forth. Until now, the interface has been primarily the mouse, the keyboard, or eventually touch. Now it's going to be more and more about uh, total immersion, mm -hmm. about um, augmented reality, mm -hmm. about uh, gesture recognition. And this is going to uh, change the way you interface with the, those devices. And it's going to make it much more affordable and much more uh, and much easier uh, to do for populations or people or audiences that don't have the experience of those kind of devices. Christian, thank you so much for stopping by the Hub Culture Pavilion here in Davos, and I'm Edie Lash.